New York investigators suspect Lacey Spears has just killed her own five-year-old son. The boy died just hours after doctors in this hospital gave him a clean bill of health. Cops claim Spears poisoned her son with lethal levels of salt. And now they believe they have proof. Actual videotape of the heartbreaking murder. Doing an interview with Garnett's kindergarten teacher, who also happened to be a nurse. She said, he was on an EEG, and we said, yes, he was. She goes, well, where's the video to that? I didn't know there was a video. Well, who knew? I didn't know the machine was hooked up to video. Yes, video. Frame by frame, the final moments of Garnett's life. We want to warn you, some of the images are graphic. The video begins when Garnett checks in on Friday, and it records through Sunday when doctors and nurses tell Lacey that Garnett is healthy enough to go home. After medical personnel leave the room, Lacey appears to take Garnett to the bathroom, just outside of camera range. But when they come back into frame... When he came back out of that bathroom, a few seconds, minutes, he turned into the most sick child, burying his head into the bed, the pillow, turning, retching. He was trying to throw up, but we've already know that he couldn't throw up because at nine months old, he had an operation that kept him from throwing up. It's something that will haunt me. It was probably, the, it's the worst video. It's, we actually had to watch a video of a five-year-old child being murdered. Lacey is arrested and charged with murder. You actually were the I one was the actual who one arrested, who arrested Lacey. Lacey. And what did she say to you? She didn't say anything. She was instructed not to say a word by her attorney. Lacey's defense team argued she didn't poison her son with salt. You were in the courtroom. I was. Describe Lacey's demeanor. It was uh, different each day. Um, I, I think uh, she looked a little scared one time. She looked mad at other times. And um, once or twice she cried a little bit. But in court, prosecutors slow down that video to show what appears to be a feeding tube and some substance in Lacey's hands when she returned from the bathroom with her five-year-old son. Prosecutors claim that just off camera in the bathroom, Lacey gave Garnett a lethal dose of salt, which moments later caused his brain to swell and ultimately killed him. But there's more. The videotape evidence also shows Lacey on her phone doing Google searches. She had been on the phone laying in the bed and we observed that. Some of those searches were salt poisoning. On the phone at the time? On the phone, we can connect the time of the phone to the video and the search that she was doing. Unimaginable. He had a right to grow up and a right to grow old and she stole that from him. Lacey Spears is found guilty of depraved indifference murder of a child. Instead of nurturing and protecting a beautiful child, you subjected him to five years of torment and pain. One does not have to be a psychologist to realize you suffer from a mental illness, known as Munchausen by proxy. What does this video indicate to you? Well, watching it uh, in court, uh, it was brought tears to many of the jurors. How important was that video in this case? I, I think uh, between the video and the, and the amount of salt found in the feeding bags were the or the uh, icing on the cake, if you will. She's sentenced to 20 years to life in prison. Is she a cold-blooded killer? I believe she is. She sat in that hospital room when her child coded and watched him die. She watched his life slip away when there's a chance that if she would have stepped up and told them what she did, it may have changed the outcome. Mama. Papa. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.